So the more you play first descendants, the more you're gonna wonder, how do I unlock other descendants? And I've been getting this question over and over and over. Yo, skills, how do you unlock descendants in the open beta? Now, the way you unlock it now may not be the same way you unlock it in the full game, but let's talk about it so that way you guys can get on your way to unlocking these descendants. Now, this does get very confusing pretty quick, but the first thing you need to do is speak to Anais. You go to her research request, and then you'll see everything you can research from her, right? You can see everything you can craft from her, the materials you can craft. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is go over to the top left where it says featured and click on descendant. Now, once you go here, these are the descendants you can get. Remember, there's 11 total descendants, plus there's also two ultimate descendants. Now, I currently have Bunny, Viesa, and Ajax. I'm currently working on Kyle. I have three of four items, and I'm almost done with him, and I've been working on this one yesterday on the live stream. So if you guys wanna go back, you guys can see. Now, I'll tell you, some of these give you exactly what you need to do. Some of them say missing information, so I was a little confused. So we actually have Glay here and we have Freya, and those are the two that we're going to look, because I actually have one of the materials for one of them. So if we look at Glay, you'll see it says research time 12 hours and research costs 100,000. It's currently on sale from 300,000. On the right, it says research material. This is the material we need to craft her. But the cool thing is that if you go over any of them, you can click X and it says go to research and then you can see the research material and then you can click X again and it'll be in more detail exactly what you need to do to get these items. So self-explanatory, boom. Where it gets a little bit harder is going to be when you need the specific item for each descendant. So what I mean by that is if you look right here, it says enhanced cell blueprint. When we go to the acquisition info, it's no longer an area we can go to farm it. It's going to be an amorphous material. And you see it says intercept battle obstructor, but you need the amorphous material 10 required. So before we can get this blueprint, we need that amorphous material. So how do you get that amorphous material? Because everything else is self-explanatory, but it doesn't even explain to you where you guys can get that material. So let me show you. So if you head over here, you can see we have Sterl Land, right? So we unlock Sterl Land. And if you go over here, it has a special operation called Mind Blocking. Now, this is kind of like a resistance type game mode. You get waves and waves, uh, hordes of enemy, and you just got to defend them. Now, when you're there, as you keep leveling up, you'll, you'll go through different waves. You'll end up getting this material as a reward called Amorphous Material. Now, I believe you can get this from different areas, but that was one of them. And I ended up getting four of them. Now, if we look at it, it says at the bottom, the Spiral Catalyst Blueprint, one that we need for our descendant. But this amorphous material, the way you want to think about it is it's locked. The only way to unlock it is by defeating an intercept battle boss. When you hit down where it says linked bosses, you can see it says Grave Walker. So what does that mean? Well, we need to go over to the Void Intercept Battle and fight a level 10 Grave Walker. Now, there are multiple bosses that you can fight from normal to hard. And some of this amorphous material is going to be tied behind those bosses. So that's where it gets a little tough. Those bosses aren't very easy. So you need to grind your characters to beat those bosses to unlock those materials. So that way you can unlock these characters. And that's just something that you're going to have to do for every single one of these now like bunny bunny was actually tied to the main campaign the main story and you'll see her materials to get her were tied to rewards from main missions now i truly believe once the game does fully launch that's probably how you're going to have to grind every single descendant but as of right now there is another way for you guys to get them early on if you head over here you'll see where it says event descendant material shop and you notice for most of the descendants you can use credits to unlock them early on. And they did this for the open beta. I do not believe this is going to be possible once the game fully launches, but this is a way for everybody to really try these characters out. And that's what they kind of put out on a newsletter. They said, this was a way for you to do it. Now, how do you get credits? Well, it's just by playing the game. I'll tell you, the more I played, I started getting notifications to go to my mailbox and in my mailbox i had credit so where's your mailbox it's literally right next to her you head over here you go to your mailbox and the more and more you play 
the more credits you get. I will say I had enough to unlock one character. I got Viesa with her. If you go down, you'll start to see these notifications in your mailbox. The more you play and rewards at the bottom say credits. So I think I've gotten over 1200 credits, I believe. And you get them at 300. Typically, I, I start to get them. You keep going down. Now, one thing I will say is I wouldn't delete any of those notifications in your mailbox. Keep them there. I know it's kind of cluttered, but I've heard that's how you'll be able to claim these items in the main game. Just a little tip for you guys. So once you have these credits, you can go down and buy them. One thing I noticed, not all the characters were here, like Kyle wasn't here. So I'm assuming that's because he's tied to the main story. The same thing with Bunny. I didn't see Bunny on there. So I'm assuming the same thing. She's tied to the main story. So that's why you can't buy them right off the bat they still want you to unlock those now once you finish any type of research with anais whether it's an ultimate weapon or whether it's a descendant you just go to her you'll say craft or you'll tell her to to bring it to life and then she'll get in her little computer boom and you'll have that item as you guys see i was able to do the thunder cage ultimate weapon and the same thing happens and then boom now you can use it the same thing goes with descendant so if you're looking at getting any of these descendants it will be a little bit of a grind unless you use your credits to kind of skip forward but besides that if they are tied to the campaign you kind of go got to go through the campaign to unlock them but if they are not then you just need to get those materials to unlock each one of them so overall it's just a very grindy game and even though this is open beta that is something for you guys to keep in mind it's an rpg looter style game right so you're going to be grinding and i imagine once the open beta ends and the full game comes out that's where the grind will start and most of these characters should be tied behind the campaign but we still don't know so hopefully this video helped you guys out if you guys want to see any of my first descendant videos take a look at my playlist i actually showcase every single descendant that's currently in the open beta i have videos for them or i have videos coming because i have all of them unlocked from an early play test so i'll have those videos for you i'll see you guys in the next one i'm going to keep working on kyle and hopefully you guys get yours let me know if there's a certain character that you've unlocked or character that you're going after right now or who would you like to unlock and maybe i can help you guys and don't forget we've actually been streaming over on twitch twitch.tv forward slash nothing but skills i will be streaming the open beta this whole week until the beta ends on tuesday september 26th but until then guys hey appreciate the support i'll see you guys in the next one hey nothing but skills is out take it easy everybody